Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we've got this old faded photo look for you that we have on the screen here. We're going to be using these photos this week, one of our model here and one of an old grunge texture or photo plate and I'll have the links to both of these photos below. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start with our first picture here and the first thing we're going to do is click on the background and command J to duplicate. We're going to come over here and get our grunge sort of photo plate look picture and we're going to copy it, Command C, and bring it over here to our photo and Command V. Now we're just going to resize it so it fits completely over the photo here. And then we are going to grab it here and we're going to move it all the way down to the bottom. So we'll look at that and we'll use that a little bit later. So we're going to click back on our background. And the first thing we're going to do is come down here to the Alive filters and we're going to look for Add Noise. So we're going to Add Noise. We're going to grab our Add Noise pop-up box here. And we're going to add quite a bit at the start. We're going to take it all the way up to 80% because we will be bringing it back down a little bit to taste later. So let's just take it up to 80 at this stage. Okay, the next adjustment we're going to add is a vibrance and we're actually going to add minus 50 on the vibrance here and hit enter like that. That's good. Next thing we're going to do is come up to this adjustments panel right next to the layers panel. You'll see here the adjustments panel. We're going to click on the black and white and we're going to move the reds all the way up to 300. The yellows all the way up to 300. So 300 on the red, 300 on the yellow. We're going to change the blend mode. Move this up a little bit so you can see it. We're going to change the blend mode to difference. And then we're going to change the opacity on that blend mode. We're going to bring that down all the way down, thinking to about 20. And again, we can change this again later to taste. We'll be adjusting everything uh, once we've got all these things in place. So we've got that black and white layer. Let's go back to our layers panel. I'm going to add another adjustment and I'm going to add a color balance. I think the picture's got a little bit too much magenta so I'm just going to drag this magenta green. I'm going to drag it towards the green just to take out that little bit of magenta. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of yellow and take out a little bit of the red. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is grab my background of my old film plate or the grunge looking picture that we got here. I'm going to drag that all the way up to the top here. I'm going to change the blend on that to lighten and then I'm going to just click on the background here, just this one here, and make sure I'm on my move tool. And I'm just going to make this picture a little bit bigger and drag it down so you can just see the other eye here and it's not obscured by one of these scratches. Okay, this is where we can now go in and just fine adjust everything. And I can tell that the noise at 80% is just way too high. So I'm just going to come over here to the noise where I hit add noise, double click on that and I'm going to start dropping the noise until I think it starts looking a little bit better. So I think I'm going to take it down probably all the way down to about 30. You can add more or less depending on your taste but that looks okay to me. So still sort of got quite a bit of color in it. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add another black and white filter and I'm going to have this one all the way up the top and on the opacity here. I'm just going to drop that to 50% straight away. But it just takes out, gives that little faded look. And then one last thing I'm going to do, one last adjustment. I'm going to add a curves adjustment at the very end, right on top. I'm going to fade the picture a little bit by flattening the blacks just up here. I'm going to drag the middle one down. We're just going to do our S curve as we normally do on our curves adjustment. And that looks pretty good. So there we go guys, lots of adjustments. Um, some may or may not be necessary, but you can actually go in and tweak each of these adjustments to your own liking. If you think it needs a little bit more noise, you can add a little bit more noise, a little bit less. I'm sort of liking the way that looks at the moment. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And until the next video, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.